Hello and welcome. This is a walkthrough uh, for Vegas Stream and uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing that you want to notice is, well, this is not really the, the interface that you get when you first start. As a matter of fact, you will be going through this where you have a bunch of templates that you can select from or a template that you potentially created yourself. Uh, I already have one selected so I'm not uh, going to bother with any of this and uh, I'm gonna hit the setup button which is probably the most crucial bit about uh, setting up your stream and let's go ahead and dive into the note right here where it says project preset dictates a resolution and frame rate in which all graphics are rendered and the maximum resolution and frame rate of the video sources output resolution and frame rate cannot exceed project preset uh, now the most notable thing about this note, which should be obvious, but sometimes it escapes us, is that it also affects the graphics that you're going to be using. So if you're going to go through 720p, then you're going to get 720p uh, versions of these, etc, etc, etc. And to be honest, 720p is good for Facebook. Uh, maybe not so much for gaming platforms like on Twitch or maybe Facebook gaming gaming that is not an area of my expertise moving on we're gonna go over to live video input where you can put as many inputs as you'd like under one interface so if you if I had a third monitor which I potentially could look up uh, then yeah uh, I would add one right here I would select it as a resource and now it's also worthy to note that uh, aside from the display selection, you also get NDI, which I don't have enabled at the moment, but uh, it is something that really, really extends the scope of what you're able to accomplish with uh, Vegas Stream. So over here, I'm going to stick with the default setting, which is a second display. In fact, I don't need the third input right now. And the first video is going to be my Logitech Brio camera. Moving on, over here, this is where the input is. Uh, I have my microphone on mute. I don't want to monitor this because I'm currently recording and it'll just be a mess. But, um, and if I go over to graphics, this is where you have all the elements that come with the template that you originally select during your first setup. And of course, you can create your own uh, graphic, by the way. If I go ahead and hit this, you're gonna get the dashboard where you grab this and you could potentially keyframe you key, key, keyframe it or add a few images logo on it it's incredible uh, this is a pretty sophisticated software if I can go ahead and come back out here I don't need a new graphic this is a pretty sophisticated workhorse so uh, give it a go play with it uh, if uh, you are a Photoshop user you will definitely have a couple of advantages uh, here as well if I go over to media, this is where I could potentially play music, additional videos, etc. But whatever I load in here, let's say this uh, portrait picture of this uh, handsome young devil, it'll immediately come here. If I hit done, I'll have it right here. I can use this in over to overlay anything, um, overlay uh, my video or my stream in any way that I please. Now, if I come back and hit over to streaming, which is pretty much the icing and uh, the last crucial part of your setup, this is where you want to punch in your streaming key. Now, I'm not a big fan of uh, using uh, the Facebook Live configuration or the Switchboard Live configuration and whatnot. I haven't tried it, but I'm not a big fan. And the reason why I don't like it is that it could potentially work now, but uh, when uh, Facebook or the, your browser updates its, 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 its protocols and you could potentially have uh, an issue with, stream, with just directly streaming live into it, I'm not entirely sure. This might be just a, uh, a bit of a paranoia from my part, but let's just first start with how to get this done manually. Uh, instead of like punching in your uh, Facebook account credentials, I'm gonna go go over to Microsoft Edge for a second. Okay, so now that I'm here on Facebook, I can uh, use the stream key. If I go ahead and hit the 
use the stream key if I then go down I should be able to get the server URL which I can just copy and paste over here and I can go back to Microsoft Edge or Chrome grab the stream key throw it over here and the output format really shouldn't exceed what uh, what's on uh, the project and you know I trust uh, the automatic settings here but you but you know if, since I'm here uh, 3500 kbps is a sweet spot really uh, unless you're doing gaming and Facebook live then you probably want to switch over to for between 4 to 8 uh, K but that also means that you're gonna to have to switch over to 1080p and unfortunately there doesn't seem to be any customizable uh, setting where you can just tweak this to the amount of uh, a bitrate that you want and the amount of resolution that you want um, but there is a workaround for this using the NDI which is of course gonna be left over for another tutorial so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with automatic uh, just, just going to stick with the project settings and uh, if I go ahead and hit done uh, this uh, this is not something that I want to expand on at the moment if I go ahead and hit done and just go ahead and click stream then I should be able to see myself over here there you go now there should be a notable delay uh, somewhere between 8 to 12 seconds depending on your connection it could be 5 it could be 4 it really depends so you could you know see the difference between all three of us but yeah after that uh, you throw in your title there you stream tutorial and all that's left now is just for you to hit the live button which I won't be doing because it's gonna be a little bit awkward okay so if I go ahead and just pretend that I'm live and I'm giving you a tutorial you can see that you can see my Vegas Pro software over here um, that's what the audience is seeing right now and if I wanted to switch back to uh, myself then I can just hit this if I come back to the browser there's gonna be a bit of a delay about six between I think six to twelve seconds and uh, there you go hope you learned something